Now we have GLM4 voice. It's an open source end-to-end -end speech large language model, which means we can talk in natural language and it's going to respond in natural language, just speech to speech in real time. So here is the model architecture. First, when we speak to this model, it uses speech tokenizer to convert the speech and send us input to GLM4 voice. Then after that, the response is generated in both text and speech. And the speech is decoded using speech decoder. Can definitely help you with information, answers to questions, or just have a fun conversation. What would you like to talk about? This is generated by the model. And I was able to directly interact with the model with my voice. And it generated both voice and text. Now you're going to learn how you can run this locally on your computer and have a voice conversation. So here are the key features. Integrated system, which means combines speech recognition, language understanding, and speech generation in one model, supporting both in Chinese and English. Emotion and tone adjustment and real-time interaction. This improves human-machine interaction. This can be applied in various fields such as customer service, entertainment, and education. You can see it's one of the trending model in Hugging Face coming on page number one. The model is available in Hugging Face and we have the Git repo with 1000 plus stars in just few days. And I'm going to take you through step by step how you can run this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. As a requirement for this, you need GPU. So I'm using RTX A6000 and a virtual CPU. So first step, git clone, recurse submodules, and then this URL, and then click enter. After this, navigate to that GLM4 voice folder. Now pip install accelerate, and then pip install hyphen our requirements.txt. So this will install all the required packages. Next, I'm going to install git LFS. apt install git LFS, and then click enter. Now the final step, git clone, and hugging face, GLM4 voice decoder. Just clone this repo and we are ready to start the application. So technically this involves one backend and one frontend. Backend is where the code is running. Frontend is for you to view the application. So first we are going to start the backend. So in your terminal, Python model server and then this whole path and then click enter. Now this will automatically download the required models and start the backend. Now you can see the back end is running in this URL. Next step, start the front end. To do that, I'm going to open another terminal, then going to try another command, Python web demo and the full path. I'll put all the commands in the description below. After this, click enter. You can see all these steps in the documentation in Git repo, as you can see here. So I'm just following this accordingly. So we are on the final step, that is the front end setup. And now here you can see, our friend end is ready and is running in this URL. So I'm going to open this. Now it's loading and this is the front end. You have different options, input mode, audio, text, and then debug information. So first I can just ask, give me a meal plan for today in two lines. Clicking submit. For today, start with a balanced breakfast, whole grain cereal with fruit and a protein source like eggs. For lunch, have a salad with grilled chicken and a light vinaigrette. For dinner, cook a lean fish like salmon with steamed vegetables and a side of quinoa. Stay hydrated with plenty of water. And at the same time, you can see the text is also getting generated, the same text. So now I'm going to talk to this, clicking audio, and I'm going to click this icon and then click record. Tell me about AI, clicking submit. AI or art. Artificial intelligence is technology that mimics human intelligence. I see that it's trying to generate the audio in real time. And also the server which I'm running is comparatively low spec. That's why there is a delay, I believe. And it's generating the response on the go. Let's finally try if it's able to give more expression. Now talk in a way that you are running fast and then responding about AI. I got a response here. AI is super fast. It can learn, reason, and solve problems at incredible speeds. Used in healthcare, it helps diagnose diseases. In transport, it's in self-driving cars. It's rapidly evolving with huge potential. 
So yeah, you can see slight increase in the speed of the response. But when I test it, there are still more areas to improve. Considering this is open source, this is really good. And we might need to modify this layout and configure this based on our requirement because I can see this user interface just primitive. I'm really excited about this. Now you are able to run this locally on your computer. Considering you already like this real-time conversation with AI, I've already covered another video which explains in detail about OpenAI's real-time API and AI customer service, which I highly recommend for you to watch and I'll put that link here. So click that and I will see you there.